Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So since my last video, I've had a lot of people ask me how I set my phone up to do that triple click, turn on talk back, and the zoom and all that. So I figured I would take a minute real quick to show you guys how to set up an Android phone as well as several different iDevices. Uh, we've got iPhones, we've got older iPads, newer iPads running the latest OS. Uh, so I'll be able to show you how to set up the triple click and how to initiate the zoom feature on all of these and set it up so that it'll work for you every single time. So hang out, we will readjust the camera and we'll get into it. Okay guys, so I don't have any screen recording software that works on these iPads, uh, so I apologize. We're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. But this is how you're gonna set up any of the newer types of iPads or iPhones. You're gonna go into settings. Okay, I've turned on voiceover to make it a little bit easier so you guys can hear my audio descriptions as well as the voiceover audio descriptions. So we're in settings and you want to go to general. Okay, so you want to go to accessibility. View side switch to lock rotation. Select it. Rotation lock storage and background app restrictions. Off accessibility button. There it is. Uh, I had to hunt for it a little bit, but. Select it. Settings. Vision. Heading. First thing you want to do Both is go. To 25 of 25. First thing you want to do is go all the way to the bottom. Accessibility shortcut. To ac over. accessibility button. shortcut. Select it. Settings. And in, click the home button for heading. And in here you can uh, choose which accessibility feature is turned on by triple clicking the home button. So you just want to click on voiceover. Accessibility. Back button. Access settings. Access rows 1 to 18 of 25. Now we want to go back up to Seven. voiceover. On. Button. Voiceover. On. Button. Voiceover. And in the voiceover settings, you can change the uh, speaking rate, you can change the verbosity, you can do a tutorial. There's a lot of different things you can do in these settings. Accessibility. Back. Access. Settings. Voiceover. On. Button. Now we want to go to the zoom. Zoom. On. Select it. Settings. Zoom. On. Double tap to toggle setting. And we want to go down to zoom region. Zoom region, full screen zoom button. Select it, select it. Settings, full screen zoom. And you have the option for full screen or a little window that will pop up. Uh, the window for me is really hard to see. If they had like a very dark outline, uh, that might be better, but I just prefer full screen. So whichever one you prefer, you can set that in here. So I've turned voiceover off because I'm going to use the magnification. And you can use both of them together, but uh, you use three fingers to move the screen around and three fingers is also how you swipe from page to page in voiceover. So sometimes they can conflict a little bit. So three finger double tap, zooms in, three fingers on the screen, moves it around. And you can move it slowly, and this takes a little practice to move it slowly, because if you flick it, it goes pretty fast and uh, it's, it's much more sensitive than the Android screen magnification so that takes a little bit of getting used to uh, if you're used to the Android one you're gonna come in here and you're gonna be flicking around everywhere and might uh, be a little frustrating but three finger double tap zooms out three finger double tap zooms in three finger double tap with a slide is how you zoom, how you increase and decrease the magnification. So you can, you can adjust the magnification to where you need it. It doesn't have to be fully zoomed in and fully zoomed out. And then to turn on voiceover, just triple click the home button. Voiceover on FaceTime. Now all of these do work on older devices. This is an iPad 
first generation. Zoom works just like normal and so does voiceover. Voiceover on. Messages. Double tapped App Store. iTunes. App Store. New stand folder. Zero items. Voiceover off. Now to set up the configuration on Android, I must preface this first by saying that this is how you would set it up on a Samsung device. Uh, Samsungs are one of the only Android phones that have a home button, so the triple clicking of the home button doesn't work on all devices. I should have been more specific with that in the first video, I apologize. You can do a shortcut, accessibility shortcut on other Android devices like the Nexus, HTCs, things like that, uh, but it's different. And I'll show you really quickly how to do that. So the way you launch TalkBack shortcut on non-Samsung devices like this Nexus 7 tablet is long press the power button until you hear an audible tone or possibly feel a vibration. And then you perform a two finger long press on the screen until the TalkBack turns on. So we'll try that now. So there you go. But on Samsung devices, you just want to go into the settings and you want to find accessibility. Now we're looking for a setting called direct access and here it is right here. And this is the triple click action uh, setting. So you can choose, there's a couple different choices, negative colors, accessibility, where it'll just open up the accessibility settings. But talkback is one, so you just want to click on talkback and then go back and now we need to go into vision now the first time talkback launches you need to go through a tutorial um, and I recommend that because once again the, the the way you interact with the phone is completely different when talkback and voiceover are turned on so you definitely want to go through the tutorial to learn how to do that now once you've done that talkback is all set up we're gonna go down to magnification gesture and you just want to click that on. There's also a hover zoom, which check out my video where I describe that. Now there isn't a setting for full screen or window in magnification gesture because they have it built in to just zoom in. It's just a triple tap of one finger and you zoom in and you use two fingers to move around. Pinch to zoom to get in, magnify closer for, or further away you'll know that you're zoomed in because there's a colored outline of your screen. Now another option you have is to do a triple tap and hold your finger on that last tap. It zooms in and then you can move your finger around to see to move the screen around. And then when you release your finger it just goes back to normal. And that's pretty nice because oftentimes when you're zoomed in you need to use two fingers to move the screen around and sometimes especially if you're holding the phone it can be kind of difficult with uh, one hand so to be able to do a triple tap and then just move around with your thumb works pretty well Okay guys, well that is how you set up both Android and iOS devices for TalkBack and VoiceOver and on some Android devices using that triple click of the home button to quickly jump into TalkBack. Once again, works on all iDevices. There are other ways to launch VoiceOver on iDevices. I'll mention here, uh, you can also use Siri on newer devices, devices that are Siri compatible. Um, generation one iPads are not, but some of the other ones, most of the other ones, you can use Siri to launch voiceover or launch invert colors or launch accessibility se settings. Um, you can do a lot with Siri, but we will save that for another video. And just keep in mind guys, whether you're using Android or you're using iPhone or iPad, you have options. You can absolutely use your device to its fullest by using all these different methods and all these different accessibility options. They are all similar. They are not the same. They are similar, 
uh, but they're pretty close in functionality and ease of use. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.